like that's your whole life. That's what you're known for. It's like ever. it's like Luke. It's like Luke Garrick. Yeah, it's like Luke Garrick's disease. How did he not see that coming? <laughs> yeah, but even his family, like I don't know if Luke Garrick had kids. Probably not. I don't know. Well, he might have. He's pretty good looking, popular dude. Maybe he did. But either way, it's like, oh, you're Lou Gehrig? Like, when are you going to get it? People are going to ask me all... <laughs> Just stupid shit people do. I'm really glad I'm not like Billy Ponzi right now. <laughs> Sorry. I was just, that just, okay. I was just thinking when you, when you mentioned the Ponzi scheme, that sucks. I'm glad there's nothing. Like, you want to be like, if it was like a cure for cancer and it was the hunt, that would be wicked, but. Not like, oh, the hunt scheme. That's the one where billions of people lost hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be known for that. <laughs> I'm the other one. The good one. I want to be the good one. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I uh, feel very bad funny. for people named Ponzi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that everybody with the last name that was Ponzi has all been changed by now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's probably one poor bastard get beat up every day. Little Ponzi. <laughs> Shows up for school. Hey, Chris, and the family Chris, never Chris told Ponzi, him about it either. That's me. That's the worst yeah. part when you're that kid is the family hasn't talked about grandpa, so you don't know why you're getting your ass kicked at junior high every day. You're like, what the hell did my grandpa do? Why did you guys tell me before you named me this, you fuckers? <laughs> Uh, I needed this so much. True. <laughs> like, it is. like, if uh, like anybody, you know, anyone out there named Hitler, there's got to be a Hitler out there somewhere. Just oh, little, absolutely, there is. Little yeah. fucking Chuck Hitler. He gets beat up every day. I didn't even know that Hitler. Leave me alone. Different family. Ow. Every day. Little Billy Hitler. Him and his brother Chuck mm. just play alone in the backyard. Kids just throw rocks at him all day. <laughs> Fucking Sad. Ponzi. What? I like coronavirus. <laughs> Ponzi's the only kid that'll hang out with Chuck Hitler. Davy Ponzi and Chuck <laughs> Hitler. It is... No one else will hang out with him, but he does. He goes, I understand. Yep. Oh, Adolf, I get it. Uh- Imagine, imagine um, having having a kid naming him Hitler Ponzi. <laughs> oh, God, Hitler Ponzi. That, Hitler Ponzi that, hunt. He might as well just sit at home and give himself wedgies. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, so I got some news from very close to home for me. Uh, this is literally the next town over in really? Oakville, Ontario. Oakville. Fuck this Oakville. Is Oakville. No, I agree. Oakville um, is the Shelbyville of Ontario, in case you guys don't remember me saying that last week. <laughs> I got no use for Oakville. Uh, no. I know no Oakville for the Oakville. longest time was only known for like, the rich and hoity toities. Uh, now it's not. Um, so fuck Oakville. Um, what a family. Ponzied? Father and his three sons. Uh, trying to go. Go get some fresh air. So keep in mind, they are father and three sons that live in the same under the same roof. And they went out to get some fresh air, and they got to this big, huge, empty parking lot where there was absolutely nobody around, and they just were rollerblading all around it. Father was watching; the three boys were just rollerblading around, nowhere near anybody, not a affecting anybody not doing anything about the they're not affecting the uh the, the distancing rule uh completely minding their own fucking business just doing what they want to do having a little bit of fun at the expense of nobody and like sure enough no uh, cop, yeah, cop shows up and says starts talking to him about the guy says to the cop he just goes who are we hurting and the cop goes, oh, you're not going to be like that, are you? He goes, well, I'm just asked the question. Cop said, and the cop says, all right, give me your ID. Charge them $880. Gives them a fine for 880 bucks. Well, for ig- stay and home, I people. Just, and I, you know, martial law has not been issued. It has not. 
No. This is very clear. This was not a public park that has been dis, dis, uh, labeled as closed. They were not in a large gathering of five or more. They are one group that's in the same household. This is no different than being in their own backyard. There was nobody near them whatsoever. Was this is taking shit? Was news. it public property? If it's not public property, the cop has no jurisdiction. If it was, then then I. There's no law court. that says you cannot be out in public. There's no law that says you cannot be out in public. Are you sure in Ontario? I don't the, know. The The law states in groups of five or more. Okay, I, I don't know the Ontario social rules. So. Well, that's, that's the rule. Everything that they try to sort of close down, but again, this is an empty parking lot. It's not well, a park. It's not a business. It's a parking lot. Well, if it's a parking lot, it's a business. Probably... Not necessarily. Oh, absolutely. A parking Oak... lot. A parking lot. Oakville has structure. Oakville has parking lots all over the place that you can park there and then walk anywhere else. They're yeah. just and someone owns them. Open parking lots that aren't for business. Well, they're not. They're not closed. They're not taped off and closed and sealed like all the parks are. It's a parking I'm, lot. I'm, I'm asking. I'm questioning. I don't know. But, yeah, a parking lot is definitely a business. That's that's crazy to think that it's not. Um, I'm just trying to find out what the Ontario rules are. I know that everything is province to province. Fuck, Saskatchewan's talking about opening up next month because they're doing yep. so well. But and, kids. And Ontario's gotta... looking to be shut down for another month. Uh, Ontario, yeah, they just announced at least 28 more days. Mm-hmm. What Fucking is the bullshit. COVID law in Ontario? I got to look it up, people, because I don't know. But um, I think, and I think a lot of police don't know at this point what they're supposed to be doing. Um, I've heard a lot of stupid shit. Uh, but I don't know. What the actual laws are. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Oh, maybe not. Uh, public information, da, 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 public, da, da, president of the event, blah, 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 blah. I'm just trying to figure it out here. I know this is a little boring, people, but I got to figure it out. Okay, law offices. Oh, that's good. Law offices are closed, so that doesn't help. Uh. Businesses, Government of Ontario website. I guess that's where I got to go to figure this out. Let's figure this out together. I know it's not super exciting, but we'll do it. We're going to play some Mad Libs in a minute, too, with Gordon. He's going to yeah. tell us a story. Um, <laughs> uh, they make me so nervous. <laughs> businesses that supply other essential businesses. Okay, this is all the things that are uh, essential. Blah, blah, blah. Essential. There's a very long list of things that are essential, which is good. Yes. Um, but I don't see the public gathering stuff. Okay, I'm done with looking because this is just going to make for a bad show. I don't see where it is here. But I still maintain, as uh, Gordon and I talked about last time, I, I fight it. Take everything to court and fight. If you feel the yep. cops are being unjust, fight it. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. So yeah, I was just uh, and again reading the um, when the when the post first showed up on social media, I got a lot of my sort of some of my personal friends and people from the community and around. Uh, there are so many people that are just like they should just be fucking thrown in jail and they should do this and fuck them. And really, you don't think this is taking it a little bit too fucking far, you goddamn idiots? Like, well, see, that's on. the problem. And like I said at the beginning. It's all or nothing. We either all got to get on board, or we either all got to fight. You can't have it both ways, though. It's kind of an all or nothing thing. We're either in it together and getting it over. Then make it all. Don't. Yeah. Or but then make it. it all. Then just make it a blanket. You are not allowed to leave your house unless if you're picking up prescriptions or groceries. You are not allowed to leave your house or they leave your that, property. Though. Because people As like me have to. Called martial law. Absolutely they can. They can't. I have to go to work. They can't tell me not to. Well, 
work is again. So okay. sorry, there unless you go. if you're essential business open, unless you're essential business opening, nothing to do outside of work or picking up essentials. Essentials. Well, see, so no then going it out, work. going rollerblading, no going That's... for a walk, no going for that, no, you know, unless if they're willing to make that well, basically place. That's what they are doing. They just don't want to have to change the constitution for it. That is what they're saying. They are making that the rule. Just no one's getting it. Does it, it shouldn't have to be martial law when it's just fucking common sense. I don't know. Considering I think how blown out this whole fucking thing anyways, I just, I don't agree with it in the slightest. I don't agree with this charge. I think this is just a, a cop being a fucking piece of shit human being. Well, of course it is. They all are. But <laughs> but we didn't stand up when we had the opportunity. Now that ship has sailed. And now we have to deal with whatever they throw at us because that's what we agreed to. Yeah, I guess. Just so ultimately disappointing. No, it's, uh, it's, it's exactly what I was saying. A month ago, I was saying this is bullshit. And even you were like, well, we got to do it. And you're delivering groceries and you're helping out all you can. And now people are sick of it. And now they want to fight. But now you can't. I, that's what I said in the beginning. You can't just pick and choose. Uh, and, and like, oh, it's a good thing until it's not convenient for us anymore. And now it's a bad thing. This is what everyone signed on for in the beginning. So this is what you get to do yeah. right now. So now the alternative is fucking stay home and deal with it. And until you do, this is just going to drag on and on and on and on. Because what if what if that guy in Oakville, what if he's the guy that just put us back? Now it's back till, the, uh, you know, November, whatever. I'm just waiting for the day when you find out that that one of these cops are the ones spreading the fucking virus. That's all I'm waiting for. That would be genius. Well, I'm sure they're not helping, but. <laughs> but you got to have cops, otherwise it becomes complete lawlessness, so. Yeah, Nothing so you can do. Yeah. I don't think the oh, cops are I any just... deterrent to anything. Don't... The cops aren't deterring law lawlessness. It's just people are don't want to fucking, people are just are inherently not criminals, I think. No one's not committing crime because of the cops. Oh, no, that's true. <laughs> but if you knew there were no cops on the streets, would you be less likely to care? <laughs> I still wouldn't be inclined to, to would. purposely commit crime if I didn't have to. I don't I don't think <laughs> like I'm just not a criminal at heart. I don't want to cause pain to other people for or for no reason if I don't have to. Um that has nothing to do with the threat of cops. It's just I don't think that that's a good thing to do to people. Um yeah. If there were no cops, I wouldn't naturally be like, "Oh my god, let's go fuck some bitches up." <laughs> Grab a baseball bat, boys. We're going swinging. <laughs> Why not? There's no cops. No, it's just not in me to do that. Plus, I got to do the podcast. What am I going to do? Yeah, right. True enough. <laughs> That's my whole thing. Like, whenever there's any opportunity to do anything, I can't. It's, I got to do the podcast. Hey, there's no cops in the world. You want to do crime? Can't. Gord's got to be up early. <laughs> Sorry, man. Gord's a dick. <laughs> He's got me on a tight schedule. <laughs> no crime for me. Also, can't be Batman. <laughs> hey, do you want to be Batman? Uh, can't do her. Podcast. Can't do it. <laughs> Podcast. God damn. <laughs> um, as of this morning. So wait, before we move on, because we never really finished that. Yeah. Here's the thing, everybody. Stay home and fix this shit. Just do it. Do your two weeks at home and smarten the fuck up. Don't take your kids. It's not two weeks, though, You Eric. know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Yeah, but it hasn't this been two weeks because it's two weeks, weeks from this when the last motherfucker smartens up. It's two weeks from when we all agree to it. The more people don't, then it's two weeks from that. And the next meathead who's out rollerblading, and then it's two weeks from that. And then, then the next beat heads out rollerblading. Then it's two weeks from that. That's the part that people don't get. It's two weeks from when we all do it. Not just we each do two weeks whenever the fuck we want. <laughs> so 
Do it and get it over.